we're going to talk about some of the soft materials that we use in rope rescue. The first and most common is rope, sometimes referred to as cord. All the ropes that we're going to use are typically Kern mantle construction, which you can see here you've got that white core on the inside and then you've got a protective sheath on the outside. This allows that protective or that core on the inside that is the strength of the rope to not be damaged by various types of wear. The actual sheath on the outside isn't strong or isn't a strength component of the rope, but is something that protects that inner core. This rope in particular is about 10 millimeters. We'll use a bunch of different diameters of rope in rescue. Slightly smaller you can see here, this is seven millimeter rope, but again that same construction with that core filament that provides the strength and that outer sheath material for protection. And then slightly smaller, typically the smallest we'll ever use in any rescue environment is six millimeter cord. We'll go over the strengths once you're at your course. The next material that you'll see that we use commonly in rope rescue is one inch tubular webbing. Um, this webbing is actually formed in a, in, a, in a circle and it's actually a tube. This one inch tubular webbing we'll use for a variety of ties on anchor points. One other piece of material that we'll use is sewn sling material. So you can see this entire loop that's actually connected with bar tacks and sewing instead of connecting, say, webbing in a loop using a bend. So we can use different types of sling material. Some thick like this and there's some newer material that's also thin as well. Each has its specific uses and some disadvantages to it that we'll talk about during your course.